got to tell you, I'm having, I'm kind of having a blast. Uh, every time a Liz Cheney article comes up, I'm kind of enjoying them. I am. I know that we'll go back to hating her, but for right for now, for this I mean, we brief can, moment we can in do time, bo- we can do both at the same time. She voted against the voting rights bill, so fuck her. But I mean, at the course, same time, I mean, of course she did. Watching, yeah, wa- watching, watching a Cheney orchestrate their their web of power uh, on a, for a cause that you believe in is pretty interesting. It is actually. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I was like, you guys are good. You guys are really good. You should use your powers not for evil. Like, can you yeah. imagine? Like, yes, Liz Cheney is good at this. Can you imagine if it was Dick Cheney? Oh, oh, <laughs> Dick Cheney on our side with that genius brain and that cold black <laughs> space that had a heart in it at one point. Come on. That dude's smart as shit. Like, he is. And Liz Cheney's smart. They're just scumbag pieces of garbage. Like, they're just dark. <laughs> um, so it's kind of nice to use their... their um, their evil abilities um, for good. Um, Liz Cheney says, quote, we have firsthand testimony that Ivanka Trump asked, um, asked Trump to stop the January 6th Capitol riot. Look, I'll be honest. Big jerk off motion on that. Don't really care. Don't, I don't, I'm not blown away by the fact that they have firsthand knowledge of that. Don't care. What I do yeah. care about is a quote in this article. Because I think that it should bring everybody to the question that we have proposed in 2021. And I will, I will repropose it now. It says, um, uh, Trump was watching the riot unfold on television while sitting in the dining room next to the Oval Office at the time. Why don't you subpoena the head of the Secret Service and ask why was Donald Trump not scrambled out of fucking D.C. while this was going on? It is the number one question. Mm -hmm. He is the president of the United States. He's not in a bunker, right? Because you could say, oh, well, he was in a bunker. He was safe. No, he was in a dining room. While yeah. the capital of this country was being attacked, this guy is sitting in a, least, in a dining room like eating it. probably a hamburger um, with ketchup a on it. A bunker situation room. Like, like there's all sorts of places right. the president would normally be in an instance, especially if, if, a, if a violent act was happening down the street from his house. Yeah. Dude, like this isn't in Philly. This isn't happening in LA. This is happening in DC. This is a major issue in DC. A stone's mm-hmm. throw away from the White House. And this guy's just like, oh, I'm just eating a steak, fucking sitting here watching this shit <laughs> on Fox News. Dear Liz Cheney, I know you listen to the show. It's cool. Big fan. Premium premium member. You're you're still listening now. Weird. 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 Thanks. Uh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Uh, like and subscribe. Um, but <laughs> right, but you have this. You have this power to subpoena these people. Subpoena the head of the fucking Secret Service. Why wasn't this guy scrambled out of DC? Why wasn't he put in a bunker? Why? I'm sure and, the and Secret Service. Fair, you, asked, you asked that question. You asked that question like six months ago. Dude, it like is super obvious. And look, I'm not the first one to come up with it. I'm not even the first person to think about it. I remember reading that and I was like, that's a good ass question. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, when 9 11 happened, they went, George Bush was in that classroom reading that book to those kids, right? Probably very poorly. Um, <laughs> get your digs in where you can. Um, and Secret Service leaned over him. It was like, yo, uh, a plane hit the tower. Like, this shit is serious. And he was like, oh, okay. And people got pissed because they're like, why didn't he move or whatever? They didn't know it was a terrorist attack, right? It was just like, holy shit, dude, this is a problem. Secret Service comes back and it's like, a second plane has hit the other tower. It's time to move, dude. Remember what they said? Like, people, uh, like, I know there's a lot of young people who, like, weren't, like, of cognizant, you know, like, of major cognizant age at that time. But let me tell you, I was. Brad, you were, right? I remember because I was like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Everybody's watching it on television. I, rem- I remember being at work. I remember that shit, like, as clear as day. I remember them saying, 
the president is in Air Force One, in the air, undisclosed location. Mm-hmm. I remember them saying that because the first thing you do when that was in New York, <laughs> that was in New York and then New York and then the Pentagon, the Pentagon is not closer to the white house <laughs> than fucking the Capitol is. Yeah. And they were like, <laughs> time to go. I don't know what, I don't know where the elementary school was that Bush was in. It might've been in DC. Um, mm-hmm. But they got his ass on air force one and got him the fuck off the ground. And mm-hmm. whatever you think of George W. Bush, whatever you think of 9-11, if you're a conspiracy theorist or not, as the president, that's the right move. Get this guy <laughs> right. out of harm's way. Get him out of the, get him in the air where no one knows where he is. This guy is sitting in the dining room, not in a bunker, not in a secure right. location. He is sitting Co- in a fucking dining room, dining room. Yeah. That is the number one question. Get someone in the Secret Service down there to be like, why was the president not scrambled to a bunker at this time? The second this shit popped off, the, the second, right? It's the Capitol, dude. You don't have to guess whether some bad shit's happening. These people are rushing into the Capitol. Boom. From that moment on, you are in a bunker. If you're not in a bunker, you're you're in a plane and you're gone, dude. You're gone. You're out of here. Mm-hmm. They just let this guy sit there. My guess is they were like, all right, let's go. Mr. President, he was like, no, nah, I'm good. The president they're not, has com- they're not coming for me. Yeah, they're, they're not, not coming, coming for, me. for me. I know. Nigga, I sent them. I sent them. Yeah. <laughs> right. What the fuck? <laughs> they're wearing Trump flags. That, that Look, that dumb woman's wearing it like a Superman cape. Oh, shit, she got shot? That's crazy. Um, <laughs> she's wearing the cape. There's nothing to fear. I'm okay. 